finished off, that was our hotel. And now we're moving to Jaipur. And we're here for two days. Um, we haven't really got anything scheduled for today. But the driver I think has taken us to a monkey sanctuary and another water well. What is it? Water well. A water well? Yeah. A water well. There you go. So yeah, so we've got them things to see today. We actually haven't got anything to, on our itinerary today, so this guy's kind of going out of his way to show us a few bits along the way, so i happy with that. But we are shattered. We're up at 6 a.m. this morning to see the sunrise in, um, in Taj Mahal. We went on a little boat ride and then went back to bed for a couple of hours and now it's 10 a.m. over here leaving Agra heading for Jaipur. Heading for Jaipur. Uh, so we stopped on the way to Jaipur and we've stopped at this place. All the stairs, all the way down to the pool at the bottom. It's so cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It'd be so good if you could get a photo in there, though. I don't know if you can, but. people come like Hindu people come here just to having a bath with the holy water like in this temple have a water from river Ganga do you know in India have a river as you say Ganges river yeah so we have like Ganges water in this place people come to take a bath here to clean the bad karma I mean they come for clean the this stuff like what bad thing they do on the past for purification or for opening the chakras and stuff like that um, so if they just come to so we just arrived at the monkey temple apparently there is more than 3,000 monkeys here now 3,001 because of faith <laughs> yeah you can actually see there's some just up there and there's one just literally right in front of me here just there. it's mad but the temple itself is huge so built into the mountain here Looks so cool. Oh, there's a scrap going on. This is crazy. The wee baby one. Look at the wee size of them. Oh, you took all of them, you greedy. Hmm. What do you think? <laughs> is this the holy water? The water is coming from River Ganga. No way. The holy river of India. So you're from Ireland, huh? Yes, sir. Put better some put oil. The oil is more time. You don't have to see one minute. Good morning guys, mess, mess, rims and bits. We got to Jaipur really, really late last night. We were super tired from traveling. We done the sort of monkey temple and the well kind of thing. It was kind of like a well spa type place on the way here to Jaipur. Our driver actually, we hadn't got it in schedule on the tour for yesterday, but the driver actually was bang on and took us to those two places. But we ended up traveling for like the guts of maybe four to six hours and got to our hotel really late last night and we were just knackered so we just crashed last night had some food and got an early night genuinely we got to sleep at like nine nine o'clock last night i don't think i've ever like been asleep that early in a long long time so today is our last day touring around jaipur and then or doing the sort of tour in general and then we go back to mumbai tomorrow we were supposed to drive back to mumbai tomorrow but traffic our driver told us that traffic is insane so we actually went on and booked a internal flight which only cost us 50 euro 
each so relatively cheap and um, we're flying straight from Jaipur back to Mumbai and we have our last two days in Mumbai so we're going to enjoy that but Vivian's then getting breakfast now I decided to fast so I'm just going to have some aminos in water and yeah out to explore Jaipur for the day. How do you feel about this being our last day? Tired, like. We have seen a lot, haven't we? Yeah, I'm tired a lot. I wish, that, like, if you, if yeah, you, your money's worth, like. Hell yes. But it is like non-stop, isn't it? You'd want to get. Yeah, it's non-stop. Like, since we got here, it's been non-stop. Like, like we've been up early every day, like. But like, I think, it, not that I doubt you could do it like this. But if you had like a day of, like the whole sightseeing thing, and then a day of like sleep. <laughs> Because there's so much information yeah. and so much stuff that you take in. Yeah, it is tiring. It is so tiring. There's a fort while going there. Wow, so beautiful. So you can see on the way, with the red fabric, there are all the elephants. On the red, the oh red, my god, look. Red fabric. Yeah, look, see the red fabric there, look. Where? Oh, you can't the see needle. it. Here, yeah, on, oh. the, on the wall. Oh, yeah, yeah, there I can elephants. see it. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Before the Jaipur, the Jaipur was started in 1727. Before the Jaipur, the Ambed was the capital of the former royal family. And with the So we're touring a little bit around Jaipur today and we've seen a... <laughs> Our tour guy is calling us. But uh, we've seen a... Like, it was, it was like a castle, not a castle, like a palace, let's say a palace. But it was actually out on the sea, it was stunning. And now we're in this place. Let me flip the camera around and show you guys. So this, this is what <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, I said Leo. And then he goes, No men are Leo. Because right. after marriage, they become pussy cats. Oh my god. So, we're now at the city palace and having a little look around. Tour guys taking us around and I'll show you guys. I'll flip this camera and show you. Jaipur Airport. We were supposed to be driving from Jaipur back to Delhi and then getting a flight from Delhi to Mumbai. The driver told us it would be about a six-hour journey in the car and then having to fly. So we decided to come on and see if we could get a flight from, straight from Jaipur back to Delhi. Sorry. Straight from Jaipur to Mumbai. Excuse me. And we did. So we've so even someone's saying, hurry up! Hurry up! 
She's literally walking like at snail's pace after him. The <laughs> gate's closing and he's like, Come on! And she's like, like, Ah, go at me on pace, leave me alone. It's like the plane will wait for me. <laughs> anyway, we're going back to the Sahara Star for a couple of nights before we Yay! go to. before we go back to Ireland. That's the reason Yeah, they did actually. Is there a bit right here? Uh. Up there, yeah. But yeah, so that's kind of our plans for the next couple of days. Tomorrow, so today is just going to be a bit of a chill out day. We're going to do not. We're going to have a nice meal tonight and go for a couple of drinks, aren't we? Yeah, I can't wait. Vivi needs to get her assignment done. I need to edit a heap of uh, need YouTube edit content. Well. She also needs to edit a YouTube video. I also need to get on to my clients and get all their sort of end of week stuff done. Um, and that's kind of it. I want to get a gym session in because I haven't trained in about so three or four I, days. I, I, also wants to get a gym session in. She doesn't feel too... Look at that, gorgeous. <laughs> she doesn't that, feel too good. That beautiful. India goddess. Oh, oh my no. god. The deli the belly. Breads. The naan the, breads. It's the deli belly. It's, that's the real deli belly, isn't it? When you yeah. come here, you put on a stone. Holy god. I thought I'd give you the shit, but it actually puts on a stone. It actually just puts on weight. So when they say deli belly, they mean that you're packing on loads of weight because you're eating crazy food. But yeah, so that's our plan. Tomorrow our plan is to go to Crawford Market and this like these caves that are like across the water anyway. Uh, you, we have to go towards the Gateway of India and then get a boat from there to these like like crazy caves. So I'm buzzing about going there. And then we fly home on Saturday. I'm actually buzzing to come home and see my family and you know catch up with everybody and hang out with my family before kicking back into things in the run up to Christmas with all of my clients and my own training and my dieting and getting myself back on track and feeling good and feeling fit again. But yeah, so just going to chill out here, watch a couple of YouTube videos, Watch, we're both watching Making a Murderer at the minute. Well, I've already watched it, Vivian hasn't, so I'm re-watching it with her before we watch part two. So, so do good. not ruin it on us if you've seen part See, two. Gonna, I never watched it before because everyone was just going on about it and I was just like, oh, whatever. Like, Anti-establishment. Nice it, but it's actually so good. It is very good. So if you haven't seen Making a Murderer, go and watch it. But, listen, I'll check in with you guys when we get to our hotel. We've just arrived at the Sahara Star. Vivian was being a drama queen, weren't you Viv? What? I said you were being a drama queen! I was. So we got our room and it was facing the motorway, which is not the greatest. So uh, Vivian rang down and asked could we change our room which is not actually bad it's only an extra 20 quid uh, to change rooms and upgrade so we've got a nicer room and we've also got a lovely balcony that faces the whole hotel I think if you see this room we're on the fourth floor which is obviously here that there with the light on is our old room right over there somewhere here yeah this one that's our old room and if we were actually the last day we were looking and I was showing you the gym was through the trees there's the gym the gym is like beside us now so you can see there's a guy running on a treadmill just down here and then all the equipment goes kind of along there, the whole way up. So we're on the other side now. I'm just waiting for a coffee and then I'm going to hit the gym. Get a sweat on because I haven't had a gym session in, in a couple of days. There's the drama queen herself. So what? <laughs> Rightly so. Anyway, right, time to get my ass into the gym. What up? What up? Welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> Good morning, this is our last day in Mumbai. We fly home our tomorrow. Last day in India, basically. Well, technically, our last day in India is tomorrow, but yeah, our last full day in India. So, the plan today is to go to the Elephantic Caves, 
the Crawford markets first. Crawford market. Are we going first? Yeah, because I think the caves things like an all day kind of thing. Okay, so that's our plan. We went down and got an unreal breakfast this morning. It was unreal. We thought it was free and it wasn't. <laughs> we thought we booked breakfast with the room, but we ended up <laughs> having to pay, which was a sting in the hole. But at the same time, it was only, it was like a tenner each, wasn't it? Hmm. 10 or 12 euro each was like 2,000 rupees, which is about 20, 20. Comparison to our meal last night was cheap. Yeah, comparison to our meal last night. We went out for dinner last night to a Chinese restaurant here and it costs 150 euro. Viv wasn't happy because she you said it was. She happy paying 150 for food and it wasn't that nice, that's why. The wine was unbelievable. The wine was all right. The wine was lovely. But this is our hotel. If you're <laughs> thinking we're walking for miles, you are right. We are walking They were like the miles. furthest away, look. So we're probably the furthest, we're the opposite side to the elevator in this hotel. And we're only, we're 18 rooms away from the start. <laughs> Getting our steps in anyway. But we plan to come back to the hotel early tonight, kind of chill out, get a gym session, yeah. don't we? I hit the gym this morning, done a little hit session, came up, had I a nice breakfast. Silence. Vivian got her assignment done and she's panicking because her assignment is due on Wednesday. Thursday. Thursday, is it? Yeah. Oh, Thursday. Work. But she's in work. So she's freaking out thinking she won't get it finished, but I think she will. Anyway, this is where we are now. But yeah, this is us. And now we're going down to grab some cash out of the ATM and then head out for the day. I'm actually, I'm really looking forward to going home. I'm kind of ready to go home. Are you? Yeah. yeah. We're ready. We are ready to go home. Back to normality. My stomach can't stick. What? My stomach can't stick any more food. Your stomach can't stick, Pa? <laughs> any more Indian food? No. No. The Indian food is just too rich. It's too hard it's to eat. Drying like, my gut. It's too hard to eat curries every day. Way too hard. Anyway, um, downstairs, grab some cash. And there's hotel shops and a business center on the level one and a cinema. Really? There's a cinema. What? That's unreal. I'm taking over. What? Over Aaron's vlog. I didn't walk into this. Walk into a pile of ornaments. <laughs> oh my god. Do you see that big giant pile of ornaments? She in nearly walk. walked into the thing. Oh my god. How you doing, man? How you doing, buddy? She just walked into a big pile of ornaments. But the last girl is maybe we'll do that. We just got to the Crawford Market and it is chaotic here. Like absolutely Chaotic, isn't it? Viv's afraid she's gonna die. I literally have We're so close to the road. There's horns going everywhere. It's not a good time to be vlogging. So you need to watch what you're doing. Alright, ma'am. But as you can see, everybody's just walking and driving everywhere. Doing what you want anyway. Oh, 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 we got a pat. 
There's a red light, finally. Doesn't it? My cheeks are really red. Is that skin damage? <laughs> well, I should have worn sun cream. What the hell? We're dripping sweat, like dripping. Uh, you don't need to show people your perspiration. That's gross. Dripping sweat. I'm a water. We had to leave, well we didn't have to leave, we spent an hour, we paid for an hour parking at the Crawford Market. So we took an hour, did, we were looking for uh, presents for my little cousins back home and this lad was showing us around Crawford Market and he took us on a bit of a wild goose chase. But we ended up um, going to a different part, it's like the other side of the bridge so if you can see you kind of go around this sort of way. But the other side of that building over there is where we picked up a few bits. But the market is huge, it's all over the place here, it's everywhere here. So now the plan is to head to the caves. caves. Morning. I'm Aaron. <laughs> so we're just about to get ready to go downstairs and have some breakfast before we leave. We were gonna go to the gym, but we're both just shattered, aren't we? Yeah, we need a couple of days rest. I woke up and my throat is so sore. On the last day, of course, I would get sick. Um, but I want to go to the pharmacy and hopefully I can get something to sore out my throat. But um, I think Aaron stopped vlogging yesterday uh, after the... Did you vlog the markets? Yeah, yeah you I did. the markets. Yeah, but then we were going to go to the caves later on, but then we decided not to because, well, I was just like dead and I was like, I can't stick the heat because it was we were walking around the markets and it was just scorching heat yeah, and I was yeah it was about 36 degrees and I was just like I can't stick going on a boat like with like with it being absolutely roasting and I was getting kind of burnt my face and stuff so we just said oh we leave and we were just wrecked but we just came back and literally just watched making a murderer and ate food and just chilled out didn't we yeah and had a really good night's sleep because we're going we're gonna to be travelling all day today to get back to Ireland so it's probably a good thing that we got some rest you know but now we're going to get changed and just go down and get some breakfast some yes please and I hopefully can find a pharmacy or something like that because like, my throat is in bots Aaron's fine as per usual he's never sick there's no thank you that, oh, one, that one looks a bit weird doesn't it yeah these have been a lifesaver, haven't they? Yeah, like, I actually think that's why my stomach's been so bad the past couple of days because I haven't taken any. Yeah, these have been a lifesaver whilst we've been over here. So if, you ever, if you ever come to India, take you need some probiotics. With you. But it's not even like the food is actually, anywhere we've eaten, the food's been really good. It's just your stomach isn't used to eating that amount of like heavy food. Heavy food. Like, like it's, it's creamy and it's oily and. Yeah, for sure. And there's so much rice. Like everything, you get rice with it and naan bread, and Rock. it's so heavy and it is it's gorgeous. The food here is really really nice, but it's we're not used to eating that. Like sure, even when we're at home, we don't even order Indian food as it is. So, like to come here and eat Indian nearly every single day. And to be fair, we've actually been so good for the majority of this holiday. We ate Indian. Like we got a pizza yesterday because we saw like a pizza express on the way home. And we're like, oh my god, stop! So we can get a pizza because we haven't had pizza in literally ages and the whole holiday. Like all we've been able to have is Indian and you know when you're so restricted to so, a certain type of food all you want is everything else that you can't have. You were craving a pizza. Oh my god I was craving pizza so bad. So we got uh, Pizza Express pizza and it was actually lovely wasn't it? Yeah and yeah so I'm gonna leave Lovies and leave yous. and I'm gonna get ready now and head down for some breakfast. Catch you guys later. Aaron say bye. Bye. What's up? We just got to the airport and we are now waiting for our flight to board shortly. I think our flight is at 5 to 1. I got a couple of protein bars to take on the plane. I'll show you these ones, look. Coffee bean flavour. Now, this is actually delish. I'm not lying. It's so nice. I bought three of them. And this is the other one I got. The macros actually aren't too bad on them. 300 calories, 20 grams of protein, 30 grams of carbs, and how many fat? Total fat is 12 grams. Like not bad, considering protein bars aren't really a massive thing over here. Vivian, I think told you guys earlier on 
when she was chatting on here that like we're, we're happy to go home we are so knackered from the entire trip like so so tired and uh, we're kind of ready to get back home get into routine get back into training see our dogs see our family everything like you know but honest to god this trip was probably one of the best trips I've ever been on like I've seen some of the most amazing things I've seen one of the wonders of the world the Taj Mahal and um, yeah it's it's incredible like absolutely incredible this place is it's definitely a once in a lifetime opportunity to come to and I would highly 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 recommend it to anybody who wants to come but like I was saying I don't know I think Vivian was telling you guys also earlier that she we were supposed to go to the elephant caves and we ended up not going because she just wasn't feeling too good she wasn't feeling 100% we were walking around the uh, Crawford markets and it was like 36 degrees she had no sun cream on and she was just knackered like absolutely knackered so um, I genuinely think that the sun just smashed her and then having, I think the thoughts of being on a boat for 40 odd minutes in that blister and heat kind of got the better of her so we ended up just getting a pizza and going home uh, back to the hotel and just chilling out so but yeah that was kind of yesterday so that's why I didn't really vlog too much yesterday because all we were doing was sitting around the hotel eating pizza and watching making murder but uh, yeah time to get some work on the laptop done I have 45 minutes of free wi-fi which is scabby as hell and uh, yeah getting some work done on the laptop and then I'm boarding the flight